Hey foodies, what are going? welcome to the channel. So today we are going to be making the most authentic Jamaican curry goat in the entire world. Alright, so we're starting off by making some marinade we're using some pimento, ginger, scallion, we're using some green onion and we're going to be adding in some oil and some water and we're going to blend this down. This will be our natural seasoning for the goat. So now let's season the goat. We're starting off by adding in some black pepper. We're adding in some seasoned salt, some all-purpose seasoning, and of course we're using the Blue Mountain curry, and this is the hot and extra spicy one. And at this point, we're gonna be adding in about 50% of our marinade, and we're gonna combine this seasoning, and this is going to be left for about two hours to absorb some of the flavor. Alright, so now that we have the goat marinated for about two hours, we're gonna go ahead and burn the curry, quote unquote, caramelize the curry. So, what we wanna do now is turn our stove on, then we're gonna add some oil to the pot. We're gonna add about two tablespoons of curry, and then we're gonna let this caramelize for about two to three minutes before we add in the goat. And the reason why we're burning the curry, quote unquote burning the curry, is because some people, if they have the curry like that, it's going to make their stomach run. So, I don't know. It's a tradition that we do in Jamaica. So, we're just carrying on this tradition right now. So, we're going to burn the curry. Alright, the curry is ready now. So, we're going to go ahead and add our goat meat. So we're going to go ahead now and cover this and we're going to watch it. We're going to cover it for about 15 to 20 minutes. Then we continue to turn up the goat inside of it. So let's move on to that. All right, so now that we have goat looking nice and lovely we have it sauteed quite enough we have been sauteing it for 30 minutes now we're going to go ahead now and add some liquid to this now the liquid that i'm using is from the same container that we seasoned the goat in so we just add some water to it and this is what we're going to use to cook the goat in add a whole scotch bonnet pepper for some heat for some fire in the goat All right, so we have been cooking the goat for at least an hour at this point. We have added more water repeatedly. As soon as the goat go down, we add some water. So at this point, we're going to be adding in some carrots, sweet pepper, scallion, and some garlic. We're going to allow this to cook for at least another half hour. Although it's still too tough, we might need to cook it a little bit longer. We can see that it's getting there. It's getting a little bit softer. So. We're going to add some water and allow this to cook some more. 